Good morning and welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul and welcome to my home county of Essex. I'm currently on my way to my biking buddy Martin's home and from there we'll be setting off to Harwich where we are booked on the 11pm ferry to the Hook of Holland. Ferry arrives about 8 o'clock the next morning and from there we'll be making our way through the Netherlands, Germany, Poland, Slovakia and the Czech Republic. The main purpose of this trip is to visit famous, infamous World War II sites and locations such as Kolditz Castle, Stalag Luft III where the Great Escape took place, Pienemunde, where the V1 and V2 missiles were developed, Auschwitz of course, but we're also of course looking forward to riding the roads, seeing the scenery, visiting the villages, towns and cities and sampling the food and drink that the countries we ride through offer us. This isn't going to be a history lesson, there's plenty of stuff out there on the internet and YouTube. This is primarily a record for me and Martin, but we do hope that you can come along with us and share in our experiences. So I'll catch up with you at some point in the not too distant future, but for now, thanks for watching and cheerio. Good afternoon and welcome back. Just a very brief update at the end of day two. Last night's ferry crossing was superb, very smooth, very calm, slept like a log, and today has been brilliant. The sun's been out, blue skies, beautiful weather. The roads were fantastic plenty of lush green scenery and we've seen several very interesting Second World War related places along the way. Probably the most interesting was Villa Hartenstein which is now the Airborne Museum. Uh, that was originally a care home, then a hotel then the Germans occupied it until um, Operation Market Garden when the British took control and used it as their headquarters. Um, we've now arrived at the Hotel de Verald where we're staying this evening and this is the actual hotel where the Germans surrendered to the Canadians. So we are touching history. 
Tomorrow we're venturing into Arnhem. We're going to spend most of the day there and our next hotel is in Arnhem itself. So looking forward to that. I will speak to you again in a couple of days time, but for now, thanks again for watching and cheerio. And here behind me, we have the Mona Dam, which was of course one of the two dams bombed by the Allied forces in the Dam Busters Raid. And looking at this area now, it's difficult to believe the death and destruction that took place. And this is the Ada Dam, the other dam to be breached during the Dam Busters Raid Operation Chastise on the 16th and 17th of May 1943. I think before I said that only two dams were attacked during the Dam Busters Raid. There was a third, the Sorper Dam, um, but that one was never breached.
Good afternoon and welcome back. My God, it is hot today and it's been hot for several days now really. It's touched 30 today uh, and it's been mid to high 20s for the last few days. In fact, the last bit of drizzle we got was leaving Arnhem last Thursday. Um, and today, it's the following Wednesday, the 26th of June. And about 11 o'clock today, we crossed the border from Germany into Poland. And currently I am here, or we are here, Martin's gone off for a bit of a wander, but we're here at the site of Stalag Luft 3, where the Great Escape took place, of course. And uh, that was in 1944. We've got a museum over there. There's a a recreation of one of the huts just over there and about a good mile and a bit, mile and a half, um, is where the tunnel that they called Harry, because there was Tom, Dick and Harry, Tom and Dick got um, discovered by the Germans, but Harry was the one that the 76 um, troops escaped from. And unfortunately, of, of the 76, only three made it um, to freedom. The other 73 were all caught and sadly 50 of those were executed. But yeah, it's been a great few days. Um, hopefully if my video, videos have come out, you would have seen um, our, our time at the Mona Dam, the Ada Dam, Colditz Castle, Wevelsberg Castle um, and others and we have been so lucky with this weather considering what we had back in Blighty and I think they had uh, over in Europe as well um, May and early part of June so uh, it's worked out really well and thoroughly thoroughly enjoying it. Unfortunately, I am eating more food than I actually need and having um, probably a beer too many some nights. But hey ho, I'm on holiday and that's, and that's what you do on holiday. So, um, we venture further into Poland tomorrow. We are going to a place called Terezin and um, there will be some photos, footage of that uh, following, following this. So uh, thanks for watching so far and um, I will speak to you again in a few days time. Thank you.